hello lovely people welcome back to my channel good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the on your time and where you're watching from so i bring you the latest gist from the palace of oni of ife as reverend funke philip has finally spoken to naomi the second time concerning this whole saga so according to this uh reverend funke philip uh you know, if if you are following me, you remember the last time that when Oni of Ife contacted her to talk to Queen Naomi on his behalf to return back to the palace, it was this same woman that asked uh, Queen Naomi to tell Oni of Ife to give uh, to give him six months to make amends so that uh, he she would return back to the palace. But instead of only of Ife to do same. He went on marrying more wives. And according to uh, Reverend Funke, he said that when he contacted Oni of Ife about marrying more wives, he was he told her that this Elizabeth is not a new wife, that they have started the ma uh, marriage tra uh, something on her head some time ago, but it's, it's along the line they have a little issue. And later, they have to resolve the uh, issue that they have. And that is why they are doing this official ceremony to bring her back to the palace. Because at the initial stage, they, they did not conclude the uh, marriage rights. So that so she's not a new wife, you know. And don't forget that Elizabeth have made it clear that uh, Oni is going to choose between the Oloris and the... Uh, uh queen naomi because the way she's going about queen naomi it, 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 it seems as if she loves queen naomi more than every every one of them of which only on her own side on his own side have told us that he that queen naomi should not worry about the wives that uh, he have explained to queen elizabeth uh, dr lizzie and dr lizzie understands so all this uh, gist as in the thing is getting out of hand and you should also understand that Queen Naomi is a prophetess who goes uh, by God's plan, as in whatever that she's doing, she's doing it by as in by God's lead, and he's following God's lead. And we should understand that it is not easy for a person who called herself a child of God to be sharing one man with many women. Because one thing we don't, or many people don't understand that when it comes to spiritual matters, when it comes to spiritual things, once a man or uh, starts sleeping with different women, uh, you will understand that uh, different spirits will be involved, and that is when you see a woman who is doing well before, uh, behaving very well, changing her behavior because she must have been contacted with some other bad characters from other women. So, and that is what what. Um, Queen Naomi don't want to involve herself into. So, and that is why Reverend Fuke said to her, my daughter, uh, at this point of this whole issue, the best thing for you to do is to do yourself. You know that which pleases you, do it. I am solidly behind you. Whatever decision that you take today, I will support you. But make sure that whichever decision you are taking is not something that you are going to regret in future. Because the way we expected things, the way we expect Oni of Ife to make amends so that uh, uh, things will go back to normal. Instead, he was there doing things the other way around. Although I heard that uh, Oni explained to Naomi that uh, uh, she's marrying those women just for the seat as a first class monarch, as a king, that it is required of him to marry many wives. But the fact remains that her heart belongs to just Queen Naomi. But my question is, does that thing under his two legs belongs to Queen Naomi too, only? Because that is where the cocoa stand, you know? When Naomi, when you, you, you said that you, your heart belongs to Queen Naomi, should reserve that that thing, that uh, thought thing under your, that is in between your legs, 
you should reserve it too for her for peace to reign because as long as you keep sharing it with other women she is not ready to share it and that is the one one reason that he should let her go and uh when naomi begged uh reverend funke philip to please talk to oni of ife if he have chance to speak with him again because every day he uh, made different people different people with class people that matters in the society they will be calling her to talk to her about this returning back to the palace of which she have made it very clear to Oni that she is not returning that nothing on earth will ever make her come back to that palace not even in her dreams she even st- um, uh, said that even if she's dead and they brought uh, they bring her uh, dead body to the palace that she's going to wake up and move away from there you know the thing is not be small matter it, it, it as in it has gotten far as in she don't make up her mind be said she don't make up her mind so the best thing to do is uh, to let her go after all even in the bible it is stated that if a man and a woman should cleave off and be, and cleave together and become one it is not stated that a man and many women and when Naomi is not ready to marry the throne rather he is there for the man so if the man truly wants her she, he should do the needful and the fact remains that ma- more wives are still coming he is going to marry more wives. Even the pastor that uh, wedded him with uh, Dr. Elizabeth that have been bragging that she have PhD, she have that, she have all the money in the world. She have PhD, all the money in the world, but she couldn't get herself uh, a, a young man to love and cherish her at age 38. And there she's there, destroying some another person's marriage. Naomi is just 30 years of age. So she's not supposed to be suffering all these things. All in the name of uh, marrying a king. And she doesn't want it. You guys should let her go. You guys should let her go. Uh, Reverend Fouke said, whatever decision she makes, whatever decision she takes, that she is solidly behind her. She's going to support her. And Fouke, uh, when Naomi made it clear that long time ago she had taken her decision. And her decision is that she is not going back to that palace. So that you, uh, if uh, if uh, if there's anyone that will talk to Oni of Ife to or uh, that he will hear and listen to, let the person tell him Queen Naomi is no more interested in the marriage, and she should be respected for that. And the best thing for them to do is to find a way to resolve their issue so that. That then Nikawo will not suffer in the whole thing, so that the two of them will co-parent the child and take care of the child without problems. The issue of trying to take Tade Nikawo away from the uh, queen, uh, Queen Naomi, is going to bring more problems to the palace and to the two of them. So if Oni uh, knows the best thing to do, let him not think of taking the child away from the mother and let him free. Uh, Queen uh, Naomi, as she's complaining that this Oni of Ife keeps disturbing any suitor that comes her way, that she is not going to take that a- again from him. Guys, I don't know what you think about this whole thing, but whatever that you think about the issue, please do well to say it on the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you still waiting for? Please, I beg in the name of God, please subscribe, okay? And turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new content. I really appreciate your support for me. My God will bless you. See you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Love you guys.